Hello and welcome to Military Combat Network. For those people new to the channel, welcome. My name is Drakey. I'm a serving soldier in the British Army. If you're new to the channel, consider subscribing and leave a like if you do enjoy this content. So today I'm going to react to the Battle of Yultong, where 1,000 soldiers fought off a massive 40,000 soldiers. Let's go. Tong, a story of how Filipino troops braved a sea of Chinese soldiers during the Korean War. The Korean War began on June 25, 1950, when North Korea, backed by China and the Soviet Union, crossed the border into South Korea in an attempt to capture its capital, Seoul. In response, the United Nations Security Council, through the formation of the United Nations Command, ordered the deployment of military forces to stop the invasion. On August 7, 1950, President Elpidio Quirino, with approval from Congress, sent 7,420 Filipino combat troops to fight in South Korea. Okay, so they did pretty much the same as other countries did back then in the 1950s to support the war. They sent a small amount of, you know, soldiers just to support the war. President Quirino saw this as a commitment to help a friend and as part of a larger battle to save the world from communism. The 10th Battalion Combat Team of the Philippine Expeditionary Forces to Korea was the first battalion to arrive on Pusan shores on September 19, 1950. The 10th Battalion, made up of 1,303 enlisted men and 64 officers, was originally a motorized battalion sent to operate tanks from the U.S. But when none arrived, was turned into a heavy weaponry unit instead. Okay, that's, um, you know, unfortunate. Like, So you've got a battalion of tankies, i.e. armored corps, and you have no armored vehicles to fight with, so they've been turned into infantry, basically. Interesting. On the night of April 22, the 10th Battalion, as part of the U.S. 65th Infantry Regiment of the U.S. 3rd Infantry Division, was attacked north of Yeonchon by a large force of Chinese and North Korean soldiers. This would be known in history as the Great Spring Offensive, one of the largest offensives by the 44th Division of the Chinese People's Volunteer Army and the Communist North Korean Army during the Korean War. In front of the Filipinos were four Chinese divisions, numbering wow. about 40 Okay, so People's Liberation Army, 44th Division, 40,000 plus troops against Philippine Expeditionary Forces to Korea, 10th Battalion Combat Team with only 1,300 plus. Insane. 40,000 men. Just after midnight, the Chinese began their attack with a heavy artillery barrage. Soon after, the Chinese forces advanced but had difficulty as the 10th Battalion successfully defended their positions with mortar and artillery. Nice. However, a massive Chinese assault pushed the Turkish Brigade from their position, allowing the Chinese to surround the Filipinos' eastern side. Seeing the incoming danger, Lieutenant Colonel Junisho Ojeda immediately organized a unit of battalion cooks and clerks to fortify oh. and defend the east flank. Did I just hear that right? He used cooks and everything to defend the other side. Insane. With the help of M24 light tanks and artillery support, Lieutenant Colonel Ojeda's makeshift unit was able to hold off the advancing Chinese forces. What? The situation only got worse when the Puerto Rican 65th Infantry Regiment, situated on the west flank, began to fall back from Chinese attack. With the west flank now exposed, the Chinese began advancing but were blocked by a platoon of Filipino soldiers situated on a hill overlooking Yultong. Commanded by Lieutenant Jose Arciaga, this platoon refused to yield and held their ground. This gave mm. Lieutenant Arciaga's company commander, Captain Conrado Yap, enough time to mount a counterattack. The counterattack successfully extracted the trapped platoon from the hill and also. That's incredible. You've got a small unit surrounded by 40,000 plus men and you managed to, you know, counterattack him. Incredible. Stop the Chinese from further advancing, but sadly, Lieutenant Arshaga and Captain Yap were killed during the fight. Mm. In the early morning of April 23, Lieutenant Colonel Ojeda led the second counterattack using M24 tanks. This caught the Chinese off guard and pushed them away from the hill they were trying to seize. The Filipinos fought until midday before it was ordered wow. to withdraw and link up with the rest of the division. So obviously they got some sort of armored support. In the south, 15 Filipino soldiers died. Oh. 26 were wounded. 
and 14 were missing in action, while the Chinese and North Koreans lost around 500 soldiers. Wow! The 10th Battalion's effort at Yultong allowed the U.S. 3rd Infantry Division to successfully withdraw from the battlefield, which would later on prove to turn the war in favor of the Allies. Two weeks later, the Communists began ceasefire negotiations after suffering more heavy losses. For the next two years, the Korean War was mostly battled from hilltops until a ceasefire was finally declared. Out of the 7,420 Filipino soldiers sent, 113 were killed, 313 wounded, 15 missing, and 41 held as prisoners of war. Today, a monument stands inside the War Memorial of Korea in honor of the many Filipino soldiers who fought for the liberation of Korea. Recently, during the 69th anniversary of the Korean War, the late Captain Conrado Yap was awarded the Taiguk Medal, the highest military decoration given to a soldier for bravery in combat. Yeah, that's incredible. That He should have been, you know, I'm surprised he didn't get rewarded with it much sooner. Also awarded the Taiguk Medal was fellow 10th Battalion team member Major Maximo Young for his heroism at the Battle of New Dong. The efforts of the 10th Battalion in the Battle of Yultong was instrumental in turning the tide of the war in favor of the Allied forces. South Korea remains a free democracy thanks to the contribution of soldiers like the Fighting Filipinos, a name given by the U.S. Command to the brave men of the 10th Battalion Combat Team. Okay guys, an incredible story. I really enjoyed this. Um, I really did. It's incredible where 1,000 Filipino soldiers managed to hold off 40,000 Chinese advancing troops. Just incredible. Okay, guys, with that said, if you're, as I said, new to the channel and you enjoyed this content, please give it a thumbs up, leave a comment, and I'll see you in the next video. Take care.